Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to create an online custom survey forms for a website using Go High Level Services. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to create the web chat form using Go High Level Services. You can use this live chat form to capture the leads on your website. In the video before that, I have shown you how to create the lead generation contact form for a WordPress website. Using this form, you can capture the leads, you can capture the contact details of the customer and use that contact list for email marketing automation. So it's not just the web chat or the contact form or the online services. There are many features under Go High Level Services. If you want to see all the services and features available in the Go High Level Services, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can visit the website and check all the services and features available in a single account on go high level services they do have 14 days free trial if you want to go for the free trial use the link in the description box here is the sample online survey that i have created using the go high level services here you can enter the first name last name or email address now let me show you how does this work so i'm going to use some information here now you will see it will go to the next slide i'm going to select some options here go to next slide you can also auto navigate once I select yes, it will go directly to the next slide. They do not need to click here. That setting is also available. Now here we have the conditional logic. If I select yes, it will go to different slide. If I select no, it will go to another slide. So we can use the conditional logic in the survey form. In this case, I'm going to select yes, go next. And here you will see the message. Good to know that you liked visiting our website. Let's go back select no and here you will see the next slide is different sad to know that you have issues with our website so this is how you can use the conditional logic i'm going to select yes the next question i'm going to select yes now here you will see the progress bar if you want to disable it you can disable the progress bar if you want to change the background color you can change the background color you can customize the style settings of the survey form here I'm going to enter the comment. This is just the dummy content that I'm entering here. And once the form is on the last slide, you will see the submit option here. Let's click on submit. And after submitting, it will go to the shop page. You can redirect the customer to any other landing page or you can simply show a custom message after submitting the survey form. Now let's go to the dashboard of the Go High Level. Here you can see the form that I have created. And if I go to submission, I can see all the submissions, the details of the visitor who has submitted the survey form. These two visitors have submitted. So I'm going to select this one and you will see the details of this visitor, name, email, phone number, what options they have selected. And this is the second visitor. Now here you can use the contact details for your email marketing automation or SMS marketing. Facebook marketing or Instagram marketing. So there are many features and services that you can use under Go High Level Services. So let's see how we can create an online survey form for your website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the high level services and now we are going to create an online survey for the website using go high level services. So let's go to sites. For this we are going to use survey builder. Here you will see the option service. Click on builder. We are going to create a new survey. If you have not created any survey you will see the option here add survey or you will see it here. Click on add survey. So it will start with the single slide. You can add more slides to the survey. So this is the name of the slide. So I'm going to keep it as it is. If you want to name the slide, you can name the slide. Just go back. And here you will see the standard fields. You can use the standard fields or you can create custom fields. So we will start with the standard fields. Here you will see style option. If you want to change the style setting of your survey form, you can change it from here. Here you can change the background color. If you want to change the border, you can use the border. You can also use shadow effect let's say you can use blur just like this you will see the blur this one looks good field settings you can change the field settings 
All right, we will come back to style settings later. Let's go to fields. Select the first option. I want to add full name. So I'm going to click on full name and I am going to add it. So here you will see full name. I also want to add email address and phone number. So these are the basic details that I want from the visitor. Let's go to the next slide. Click on add new slide. Now here you will see the name of the second slide. If you want to change it, you can change it from here. Here you will see the position of the slide. If you want to change the position, you can also change the position of the slide. Now on this slide, I want to add a question. So here you will see different options. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to the custom fields and I'm going to add a new custom field. And here I want to use a radio buttons. Click next. Field name will be a question. How did you find about our website? Enter options. So we are going to enter some options here. So these are the four options. Click save. And you will see this field added here. I'm going to use it here on the second slide. Okay, here I want to add one more question in the same slide. All right, so we are going to add a new custom field here. Again, I want to use the radio button. So click next. So I'm going to create some questions here. Let's add some options. How user friendly did you find our website? If you want to add option icon, you can add the icons from here. You need to upload the icons. You will see the option here. So I'm going to add that here. So on the second slide, we have two options, two questions. Let's move on to the next slide. Now I'm going to add a new question here and we are going to use a conditional logic. And I'll show you how to use the conditional logic in the survey form. So this is a new question that I'm going to add. Add custom field. I'm going to select radio button again. Next, this is the question. Did you enjoy our website? So the options will be yes and no. Click save. This is the custom field. I'm going to drop it here. Okay, now here customer can select yes or no. Now we are going to create two different slides for the yes answer and for the no answer. So let's click on two slides, slide number four and slide number five. If the visitor selects yes option then they will go to the slide four and if they select no they will go to slide five so select this field and here you will see the option logic okay so when they select yes it will go to slide four and when they select no it will go to slide five now if you want to disqualify immediately you can select this option disqualify immediately if this if they select no answer the survey is going to be disqualified. They will exit from the survey. So here I'm going to select slide five for the no answer. And on the slide four, we are going to add a question for the yes answer. Here I'm going to add one text field. Let's go to standard and use text here. Add some text. Good to know that you liked visiting our website. Center align it, change the size. You can also change the background color to match with the current color. All right, now below that, we are going to add a new question. Create custom field again. So I'm using some custom fields here. Radio button again. Would you recommend our website to a friend or a coworker? The options will be yes, no. Select the answer yes here in the slide three. And this is the question for the yes answer. Now this slide is, the slide five is for the answer no. So I'm going to add the standard field here, text field. Let's add some text field here. And so this is the text. Below this, we are going to add a question Again, we are going to use custom field. Next, the question will be which part of our website is not. Let's add a new slide here. And this will be the last question. 
let's add a custom field here now here you will see different options single line multi-line text box number phone monetary select drop down checkbox so you can use any one of these options now here i'm going to add multi-line option let's name it as amini comments let's click save drag it and drop it here so this is the last slide now let's go to options we are setting the options for this form this is the name of the form i'm going to name it as sample survey so you can change the name of the form what do you want to do after submission you can enter the message or you can let them go to one of the landing page on your website now in this case i want them to go to the shop page of the website so i have entered the shop page url you can also use the message after submission of the form now if you want to disqualify immediately you can disqualify and this is the message for the disqualification thank you for taking your time to complete this survey if you want to disqualify after submit you can have this message now here you will see survey field settings one question at a time so it will show only one question at a time so i'm not going to select it right now i'll show you how does this work later sticky contact if the visitor is a returning visitor it is going to autofill the contact field such as phone number email address full name so it is going to do it automatically so i'm going to check this one back button if you want them to use back button you can enable the back button here you will see disable auto navigation it is going to auto navigate to the next slide if you disable it it is not going to navigate to the next slide automatically disable animation scroll to top select this one so they will be able to go to top browse banner image if you want to add banner image you can browse the banner image here so these are the options let's save the survey and click on integrate survey so it is going to give you embed code so this is the code i'm going to copy this code and let's go to our website here i've created a new page to show the survey so i'm going to add a new field here if you are using any other page builder you just need to look for the html block so i'm going to use this html block and i'm going to enter the code here click update now here you will see the progress bar let's close this one and you will see the option here progress bar here you will see the progress bar if you want to disable it you can disable it from here okay now let's view the page okay so this is the survey this is the web chat that we created in a previous video now here you will see it has already auto filled up the contact details because we enable this option here here you will see the next option it will go to the next question how do you define about our website they can select this one or this one next one now you can see that once i select the option it's going to the next slide automatically they can also go back all right now let's go to the settings now here i'm going to enable the one question at a time okay now next we are going to disable auto navigation click save the survey and let's refresh this page now you will see only one field is there full name then email then phone now i have selected this option but it's not going to the next slide automatically because we have disabled the auto navigation so we need to click this option to go to the next field all right let's go back and here i'm going to disable again the one question at a time option all right let's save the survey again let's go back refresh it now we have got the survey again let's select these two options here let's say no next and you will see it has gone to the next option sad to know that you have issues with our website 
once they are on the last page of the survey form you will see the option here to submit the survey so it's going to end the survey here so let me add some comment here and we will submit this survey submit all right and you can see that the visitor is redirected to the shop page after submitting the survey in this case i have used the shop page if you have any landing page you can redirect the customer to the landing page after submitting the survey let's go back to the dashboard and let's go to analyze and here you will see the analysis submissions one sample survey one view submission and here you will see the details of the submission the name email address and what options they have selected which page has the issue home page testing the survey is the comment now here you can use the details of the contact and you can create an automation for email marketing using these contacts this survey form is not only for the wordpress website you can integrate these surveys on any other website so this is how you can create an online survey for a website using go high level services that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips